first lesson I learned when I joined the service was when they tell you it's a routine mission, take extra ammo. We were responding to an SOS that was picked up on a deep space frequency when I was ordered to babysit a science team as part of my landing party. I should have known. In my line of work, nothing is routine. Alive, people. What is this? What do you think, Pep? Looks like a darn time warp. Keep an eye out for Hansel and Gretel. All right, everybody, stay close. Commander Carter. What? Oxygen levels on this planet are much less than I thought. I'm gonna have to up the dosages. You've got to be kidding, Jose. Zip it. All right, Doc, do your thing. Go get your needles out. Keep her on a roof. Jose, you're on point. Make sure no one comes in that backside. Ignore the cowboy. We've got work to do. Let's go. Yeah, Pap, maybe get someone up on the roof, will you? Sir. What? I've lost a couple of the science nerds. Ah, uh, don't they know we're not here to pick flowers? Wow. Look at this place. Strange. Amazing detail. Come on, Volkov. Let's get back to base camp. What was that? Let's go! Breathe! Move out! The case. What happened? Something dragged Volkov off. What? What was it? Like a, a giant lizard or Marine a perimeter. We have to go find him. We have to Wait. help him. When are we going after oh. Volkov? Oh, I'm sure he's already dead. We'll look for Volkov after we're ready to travel. Easy, big boy. Now you. Stand still. We stepped in it again. Well, that's what we do. Check out this reading. Here. 
You should all feel shortness of breath for the next few minutes. Till then, try not exerting yourselves. Yeah, you tell that to the lizard. All right, everybody, listen up. We're going back to base camp, and we're going to divide up into three teams. Jack, take Krieger, Dr. Tygon, find me that SOS signal. Jose, you're with me. We'll look for Volkov in the village. Pappy, secure base camp. Get these people to help you move the gear. Everybody, let's move out! Everybody! That means you too. Go on. Ground team, Santee. Come in. Ground team to Santee. Come on, Big Bo. Nick, are you listening? Santee here, Mays. Can you give me ground status? Ask me another question. I'm not real comfortable with that one right now, Chief. I'm looking at the Middle Ages. It looks like King Arthur's court or something. You sure we're in the right place? Amazing sight, isn't it? Great detail work. They could use those guys in Hollywood. Oh yeah? How do you know that? Satellite photographs. Don't worry about that football field, Mace. Just give us a touchdown. This ain't a picnic! Come on, man. Move, 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 move! Come on, ladies! Move your bonds! Sorry, man. Jose? Yeah? Do you think Volkov is alive? No, I don't. Too bad, I kind of like that guy. Come on, man. Move, 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 move! You know, I'm not getting a real good vibe about this place. Use your best judgment. But you gotta spend some time down there. Don't cut and run at the first hint of trouble, old buddy. I've never run from anything in my life. You know that. Just stay tuned. Ground team out. All right, people, saddle up, get ready to move out. Let's go. You men get the heavy equipment. Now. I'm coming with you. In case you've forgotten, we're also here to search for signs of alien life. Doc, I think we already found that. Captain Carter, Volkov was my colleague. I'd really like to find him, too. Even if we got him killed? That's not fair. Well, all right, stay with me. Do as I say, and if you get yourself killed, keep quiet about it, will you? Creatures resemble prehistoric Earth dinosaurs. Still processing species data. The landing zone is almost perfect recreation of Elizabethan era England. Buildings almost perfect replicas. Something not quite right. Almost like a stage set built from some long ago memory. Yeah, town full of antiques, just like these guns are carrying. Pump shotguns, 30 odd sixes, AK-47. Was this budget cuts? These are antiques. I'll tell you what, way back in 1951, the U.S. Air Force baptized the B-52 bomber. Sixty years later, we were still using it to bomb the hell out of our enemies. If it works, it works.
can't walk off. What is he? You want me to draw your picture? Sure brought my bucket and shovel. something a little more subtle. I don't want to wake the whole neighborhood. You know, I was thinking, it's amazing that we have all this technology to turn ourselves into molecules and beam our collective assets down to this planet. But I thought we ought to have something a little bit more fundable than my daddy's old deer rifle gun. Next time a dinosaur comes to dinner, Come on, Sarge, it's not the weapon, it's the man behind the weapon. Laser gun's not gonna kill you any deader than a 44. You don't really believe that crap, do you, sir? Just stop all this macho posturing and get a little more proactive about our mission? You sound like kissing cousins at an Alabama gun show. Stand aside. Clear. Here. Move closer to that building. Okay, open it. All the people. They aren't people.
What is this? C4. It blows things up. Papi, what do you want to see for? It goes where we go. But we're staying here. Estevez, repeat after me. Do what Papi says. Do what Papi says. Or he'll kill you. Or he'll... Okay, sick, yes. Good boy, Understood. pack it up. I got a reading. Open it. Check this out. That's not it. Put it back. Looks like we got here a little too late, sir. Mace, this is Jack, over. Come in, Jack. We found the transmitter. Locals left it behind. This is a dead planet, sir. Not completely dead. Hang on, Jack. I think Roger's got something. What are you picking up? I don't know. I don't think it's anything. Were you sure you know how to use that thing? Yes, Captain. Now. Base camp's being attacked. Base camp's under attack. Move out. Move, move, move. Come on. Cover me. Guns jammed, Pappy. Start on that. Move. Other side. 
Clip it. Put pressure on that. Mm -hmm. What the hell oh. have those lizards got against That's us? They're not C's. lizards. They resemble velociraptors, That's right. extinct on Earth for over 66 million years. Extinct. Well, um, I guess they didn't get the memo. Go make ready. We're pulling out. We haven't completed our We're... testing yet. We still need more time. Well, I just lost two men, Doc. I'm not about to lose a third. I am the science team leader, and I am telling you we need more time. Mm. Anyway, you're under a corporate director. Go to hell with What did you say? I'm not finished with you. Hey, don't push me too far, Doc. You ain't got the crowd for it. That is a disgusting habit. Yeah, it certainly is. All right, prepare to evacuate. We aren't going anywhere. Don't you start with me too, Doc. Look up at the sky. See that fireworks display up there? That's cutting off all communication between us and the ship. What are you talking about? It's radiation storm. Ground team to Sante. Ground team to Sante, come in. Ground team to Sante. Ground team to Sante, come in. Nick, are you listening? Any contact with the surface? Nothing. Sensors indicate a major radiation front hovering over the target grid. I can't see them through the storm. And if I can't see them, I can't bring them back. How long will the storm last? There's no way to tell. They come and go on a whim. Come on, Bakewell. Come in. Come in, Santi. Not to worry, I got Jack working on that. All right. We got a lot of clips and cartridges for the AK-47s, but we could always use more. We also have plenty of shotgun shells. But that's only good for the close-up work. Yeah, I don't want any more close-up work for them. We got plenty of C4s. I think we're okay for right now, at least. You still single, Lieutenant? Why, you want to make an honest woman out of me? Dinosaur missed my most important parts. <laughs> well, maybe I'll give you a rumble, old man. But let's get you better first, huh? I think you just did. You kids need to get a room. <laughs> Listen, um, don't say anything to anybody else, I am. Um, I don't think they'd understand, okay? What? Where do we hole up in town? The castle. Strong walls, better protection, more room. It's like the Alamo. I hope not. Okay, Doc, you have a problem staying in the castle. Why don't you tell me now before we get there? No, it's nothing. All right, people, let's move out. Any luck? Just static. I can't see them through the storm. Why don't we send reinforcements? Don't put another team in danger. I'm the commanding officer of this ship, Mr. Romanov, and I got that way by trusting my instincts. Do the same and we'll go far.
decorating's gone. This is the good stuff. I promise. Any chance of being a pro? What? learn SOS. Well, SOS is a basic international code based on mathematics. It's conceivable that this civilization knew it or heard it. Maybe they hoped they could contact us. Earth is the closest inhabited star system in this sector of the galaxy. It's a fair bet that they've been there once or twice. How do you figure? Well, look around this place. You think they built this after watching Robin Hood on satellite TV? Hmm, but the real question is, did they steal our interior designers or did we steal theirs? Chicken or the egg? Wrap it tight. He'll live. Holy crap, will you look at that? You hurt? No, my hands. Good job. Thanks, sir. Doc, you think you could give us a little warning next time? I tried. Well, you tried? Well, I can't afford to lose any more people. Why, you try? And neither can you! So would you please do your damn job so that we can do ours? The science department can't be expected to predict everything. Yeah, well, she's been playing with that toy since we got here. It should be worth something. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I screwed up. Next time, I'll screw up something else instead. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Sign of weakness. Excuse me. I think we can't relax it. Jose. Do something useful. Fix us some chow. On the double. Sir, yes, sir. What do you got there, Jose? Very rare antiques. Oh, yeah. Not yet. Oh, okay, sir. <laughs> sir, Jose's got chow in there if you're hungry. What, Nutri Packs? No, he's whipping up something special. Uh... Captain? I'd advise against too much direct exposure to this radiation. Well, if you're worried, Tygon, don't come out in it. You don't like me very much, do you, sir? Frankly, I don't think that much about you. You know, this is a war for me, too. Like you, I'm making hard and fast decisions. And I, like you, I hope to God I'm right every time. That's a good speech. I don't buy it. I've seen your work, Doc. You enjoy it too much. Don't worry, Doc. He grows on you. Dr. Tiger.
For my men, it's life and death. To her, we're just another damn Petri dish. Get your chow right here. Genuine army issue MRE packet, folks. There's real grub for real grunts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, step up to the plate and don't be late, because I got chicken tetrazzini, beef enchiladas, breaded chicken with pasta, turkey and mashed potatoes, and gravy. This genuine, honest John processed food. Got any sides? Uh, sure. I got mashed potatoes. Look, Pappy, real food. So how old is that? Can I eat this? 60 years. Aged beef. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Sure. I got uh, mashed potatoes. Uh, oh, man, real chow. Yeah. It's been a long time since I tasted this. Don't drag your ass for me, boy. What? I start slowing you down, leave me behind. Get these people home alive. Are you gonna talk while you eat? I believe I just did. Listen up, everybody. I want this place sealed up like a drum. All right, that means 24-hour guard duty. I need a volunteer. Who's first? Me, damn it. Except you. <laughs> ah, puppy's back! I need some help over here! Oh. Hang in there, hang in there. Somebody do something. Hey. Put this strap in his mouth. Hurry up! Right down. Don't die on me. Get over uh, here! Hold him down. We're trying. Just a minute. Just hurry up. Do it. Hang in there, Pat. <laughs> what the hell did you just do to him? Well. I took biochemical readings from a dead raptor, I created an anti-venom, and then I assumed Sergeant Mathis might be suffering ill effects from his wounds, and oh, looky, I was right! Well, you used him as a guinea pig, you son of a... We had to know! What if we all get infected? Now you're all going to need the same dose. No way. Oh. Hey, Poppy. Poppy's back. Oh. How are you feeling? Something I said? Oh, yeah. Trust me. Infection will kill you faster than anything else on this planet. Just a little bit of this will give you added endurance, energy, and speed. Alright. Welcome back, Chief. Well, um, life's too short anyway.
To them, we're just a bunch of lab rats. Anti-venom. Now. Stay still. If I find the son of a gun that took my weapon, I swear I'll rip him apart. And gentlemen, this is not a figure of speech. No one takes my weapon under threat of certain death or dismemberment. And I hope I have made myself perfectly clear. This your weapon, Lieutenant? Hey. How'd you know that battery would drop that dinosaur? Lucky guess, sir. Damn good lucky guess! <laughs> you think you could do it again? Zap one of those things? Yep. Sure as heck like to try, sir. All right. Move them inside! Inside! Come on! Come on, come on, move! Look alive! Never heard you talk that much in two years. That's because you never took the time to get to know me. See, I talk all the time. You just don't listen. Definitely the million dollar wound, kid. Oh, Pappy, this ain't World War II. And I don't have any more bullets to bite on. Well, at least you're getting the good stuff. Trust me. Tell me about that fireworks display you put on out there. I was just lucky. The power cell seemed to recharge itself. It must operate on a pure energy source. Right. Some kind of fusion that we don't know about. Huh. I mean, I knew it had a lot of juice, and I figured a hard impact might release a lot of that energy. Release? Well, blow up real good. Uh huh. But it wasn't the impact that killed that creature. The energy did. Right. Wait a minute. So if you're right, and there's more of those gadgets out there, maybe we can put them to use. Captain, there's a whole crew with what look like rifles, sir. Right. Along with some rifles. more of those power cells, same as that little alien grenade I just tossed out there. All right, then here's the plan. At first light we move out, we're gonna go get some toys. All right, we're almost out of ammo anyway. Maybe we'll even up the odds until we get off this damn planet. Yes, sir. Do you think it's wise to expose the team to the radiation from that storm? Doc, you know, it's something to do. Then I'm coming with you. Sue yourself. <laughs> Time for a nap, Captain. Yeah. Go get yourself some coffee. I'm gonna stay out here a little longer. Tobacco? Uh, I don't chew, sir. Uh, is there something on your mind, sir? Just need a little me time, that's all.
are you feeling? I'm okay. Face not too bad. Can still shoot a rapper, man. Thanks. Papi, how you feeling? Semper Fi, sweetheart. Semper Fi. That's it. Talk to a corny old man for a second. <sighs> What's on your mind, girl? Beside Mace. Mm. Is it that obvious? <laughs> Tell me about him. For starters, he hates scientists. Well, what's wrong with scientists? <laughs> It's a long story. Started with the Martian campaign. Mason met his wife on that campaign. I didn't know he was married. Robin was a scientist. The corporation assigned her to the Saturn project. She was in charge of a whole team of scientists. Ivy League types, mostly. Did another ass from a fusion drive. <laughs> They were about two weeks into the Saturn project when things turned bad. It's oxygen leak. Rapid depressurization situation. Robin got most of them to safety. But the nitrogen poisoning got her. She lived about half an hour, a constant screaming pain. They didn't even have the decency to put a bullet in her brain. Oh my God. Apparently, they were taking back live samples, and it was either Robin or the Petri dishes. I did the recap report on that mission. The scientists didn't make the call to leave her behind. Well, who did? The captain of the mothership. Holy Mother of God. We only had three cruisers during that period. Two of them were on occupation duty at Mars. And the third one orbiting Saturn? Third one? Bakewell. Does Bakewell kill my wife? I'm so sorry about your wife. It's none of your damn business, okay? I don't need you to be sorry. What? Man, oh man, if I were on my feet right now, I would not. What? You'd what? You were wrong, you know. Dead wrong. Take your anger out on Bakewell. Oh, I will. Believe me, I will. What did you pick up? I don't know exactly. The ground team shut down the alien SOS, but I picked up this energy boost about two hours ago. But it wasn't one of ours. Energy blast? Well, whatever it was, it's gone. The reading was too weak, and the radiation storm makes it harder. You don't know where it's coming from, but you know it's there. must have come for the dead one last night. Taking it away. Yeah, or eating it. Makes me think they're smarter than we are, just toying with us. <sighs> Listen, um, about last night, you guys just brought up a bad memory, that's all. That's what you get for eavesdropping. Well, at least now I have a better reason to get back on that ship. What you mean, Bakewell? Revenge? That's a dangerous kind of closure for all of us. Anyway, like I said, that's the reason that I jumped all over you. And I'm sorry. Never apologize, Captain. It's a sign of weakness.
Do you need ammunition? Stocked up last night. It's your funeral. Don't come crying to me like a little witch if you run out. Oh, I love it when you talk dirty. Maureen, I'm not in the mood for your seduction. You find a magazine. Move. I think she likes you. Told you. All right, we're low on ammo. So conserve, right? Let's go. Jose? Yeah? What will we wait until broad daylight to this, huh? Because Mace wants to see what's coming to kill him, that's why. Jack, this is your neck of the woods. You take point. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Go. Clear. Jose. Yeah. Stand guard. Yes, Everybody sir. else in. He's talking to us. Oh. I'll try to translate. Translate? What the hell are you talking about? Makes me quiet. He's very old and he's in great pain. He's dying. He says he's the last of his kind. They call themselves Pathfinders. They took parts of other cultures that they enjoyed and recreated them as places of rest and recreation. What? Theme parks? For termites? Cultural similarities. Elizabethan England. They must have visited our planet at some point. The raptors are the dominant species on this planet, or were until the Pathfinders arrived. For a while, anyway. At first, they were used as worker animals and pets, but then they started to attack. They decimated the population. He was a military brigade leader. Time ran out. All of his soldiers are dead. Huh? This is where they made their final stand. Yeah, it's their Alamo. Ask him about the weapons. The weapons. How they work. Energy guns. Only hope. Operate at high sound frequency. But what about... Is he? He's dead. Pickaboo, I saw you! Captain! Captain! Grab a weapon. I got a whole list of questions for you. I figured as much. Captain! Just in time. <laughs> 
All right, this is what we're gonna be. Run and gun, okay? Staggered attacks, two and three at a time. On me, let's yes, go. Yes, sir. First line on me. Set. Fire. Second line. Advance. Set. Fire. First line. Come on, Krieger. How to go up there? Not bad. Doc, let me ask you something. Why the hell do you suddenly know a lot about this planet? I want to know when are the rest of us going to get invited to the party? What the hell are you talking about, Mason? Talking about how suddenly she speaks alien in three easy lessons. It was part of my mission prep. I was given language discs and told to learn them. It's routine. We've run into alien civilizations ever since the Saturn Project. It's my job to learn alien languages. You act like it's some kind of conspiracy. No, I just lost another man five minutes ago. I just want to understand why! Well... At the corporate level... What?! Some of us have known about this planet for years. Another team captured their SOS signal in 2055. Petrovich, shut up. Right, during the Martian campaign? Most of the first team died. But not before sending their data. We used to be partners with the aliens who lived here. <laughs> we've known for some time they've died off. And we've known about the raptors. This mission is not a rescue mission. No. This is a field test. And we're all lab rats. Why don't you tell us about what lab rats we are? What the hell has he been injecting us with? Antibiotic, mixed with an energy booster, mostly. The energy chemicals have been keeping you alive and strong. Until your metabolism uh, wears you out, you pass out. So this uh, field test, uh, how long are we supposed to stay on our feet with that juice in our veins? What do you think? We're all just guinea pigs, right? Tell us, Tygon. I don't think I have to tell you anything. What is the test? I don't think you'd understand. Try me. I have a corporate directive. What's the test? Okay. The corporation thought the Raptors might have some use as weapons. They just needed some test subjects in a combat situation. So, we can and father. Mace, I didn't know anything about this. All right. What about Bakewell, huh? Is he in on it? Well, you got some history with him. Didn't he kill your wife? I'll kill you. <laughs> Ooh, it was Big Boss Project! He handpicked every one of you! Maybe he's cleaning up his past. Personally, I didn't think we'd all die. Then you know what science isn't an exact science. Really? I'll kill you! <laughs> Tie him up! 
You help! Alright, nobody talks to him. We're all going to die here anyway. Let's just go feed ourselves to the dragon and be done with it. Marine! Let's try to keep it together. Yes, sir. What do you think? Well, Mesa, without us, Bakewell has no doubt it to take back to the corporation. Which means that he wasted a lot of time, money, and resources. She's got a point. If he really wants anybody dead, it's just gonna be you. He's gotta get some of us back on board. Yeah, but we still can't communicate with the ship. Maybe the aliens can. Wait a minute. Run that by me slower. She's talking about using the alien transmitter. That little SOS device. You're not gonna restart that thing again. Jack got the power cell to work. Maybe we can get the transmitter working again. All right, all right, all right, I'll play. Let's say we get it started and it works and it's beautiful. What makes you think there's anybody up there listening? Well, we heard the first SOS signal 4.7 light years away through every kind of atmospheric anomaly. It may be a way home. Yeah, it may indeed. So here's the plan. Put together all the C4 you could find. We move out in 30 minutes. That's yes, it. sir. Let's go. Still no sign of them, Captain. Our orbit's been deteriorating ever since we got here. The storm fried all the settings. We have two more hours at present course. Then I have to pull out and do a reapproach for new orbit. But that will take about 24 hours. Do Mason and his team have that much time? both my parents in the Martian campaign. They were good people. I watched a band of indie traders shove them into an outside airlock. And they opened the door to Martian atmosphere. I was 14. And the bastards made me watch. So I know what it's like to hate hard. It's bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's time, Captain. I'll be right there. Who's gonna be in charge now, sir? I am! I'm gonna whip these punks into shape, and then we're gonna go kick some lizard ass! <laughs> Get the job done, Mace. I got his back, sir. Must be Doc's juice, Captain. I'm feeling better again. We're in good hands. All right, we'll be back soon. Simplify!
up, Jack. Going as fast as I can. Jack. Almost there. These things suck. Against mine. And when we get back stateside, I'm gonna get you a nice fat commission. Lots of girls. You like girls, don't you? I'm tired of the sound of your voice, and I have no qualms about sacrificing you. Where's Pappy? Ah, uh, he's out back. Okay, I got it. I'm cool. Thanks. Thanks, man. Pappy? I made some fresh coffee. I think I've had enough coffee. You know, it's been an hour since they left. I know. So what do we do? Give him a little more time. Two more hours, then you can send me to hell. Which way? Uh, uh, I'm working on it. side.
Ready. No! What? Get up! Make yourself useful. And don't worry about standing in front of me. I'll shoot right through you. Get out of the way! Hey! Barricades! Let's move it! Double time! Ready! One, two, three! Stay low! Focus! Make every shot count! Go, 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 go! We're going to run out of ammo! They're just going to wait us out! They're not going to wait much longer! We're going to make a run for it! You'll never make it! You got a better idea? We got you covered, Peppy! Super fire! Peppy, go! Okay. Ah! Oh my... Oh my... What the... This is what killed them. They thought they could control them by building on top of their nests? I guess there's no way out, sir. There's always one way. Get the C4 out of my pack. Sir? Maybe at least we'll buy the others some time. Jenna, you ready for this? No, sir. Lenny's a girl. I'm out, damn! Don't think, give me a clip!
major ground disturbance on the planet's surface. Explosions about two clicks away from original landing site. Dinosaur meat, well done! No! Can't help him now, come on! Come on! Now, all right. Now when we come through this door, we're gonna be running, so you gotta be ready, okay? What, what you gonna do? A little military tactic, circa 1878. I'm the cavalry. Where's Pappy? your ammo, Captain. You would have done the same thing. Stop pointing the gun at me! No. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go!
this orbit in 30 minutes. Any contact with the surface? Nothing. Power levels are good. This party's getting started. Yeah, I can see that. We got it. Okay. All right. Readings on the surface. It's an SOS signal like before. Location. It's grid seven. Readings on four life forms. Is one of them Mace? I'll know in a minute. I have to compare their scans with the computer data, and then we can engage all. Don't engage all. I want them brought up one at a time. Uh, how are we doing for ammo? I'm out, sir. No. Gave you the last clip. Yeah, that's my last. Jose. Last clip as well, sir. Nine rounds. Not enough. Jose. Save the last bullet for me. See you on the other side, Mace. I've got a lock. Which one is Mace? Target number three. Step away from the console, Commander. What is this? A mutiny? It's a rescue, sir. Hey, Jack. Sir? Back up. Don't mind if I do, sir. Disgusting habit. Yeah, it is. And here they come!
witnesses are all dead. Mace, thank God you made it. And action. Cut! President lives. The president, president lives! lives. Why are you? That'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs>